Okay, so what's up guys? This is Karan here back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. So you're seeing right we have installed Android 11 on our Redmi Note 8 with the security patch of 5th of June 2020 and Google Play system update of 1st of June 2020. Actually, it's a GSI port, so it's based on GSI, but it is ported for Redmi Note 8. Flashing steps, I'll written down, I'll write down on my website, so you can check out from there. It's pretty easy to install this build on your device. Which are the things you get here, which are the bugs, obviously it's based on GSI, so there are, might be a lot of bugs. So, which are those bugs and how the features and everything else in this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Okay, so we are here at the home screen and first of all we have this kind of clean UI where the scrolling speed is just nice. I have not installed any custom kernel here. The default kernel if you talk about is this Quicksilver kernel. Let me just show you. This one is Quicksilver kernel which is pre-installed in this Redmi Note 8 ported Android 11 build. You get the pixel launcher in this Android 11 by swiping right. You need to just sign in with your Google account and you will get the Google feed here. Everything is just working fine and talking about these things. Here you get some features of like add app icons to home screen. The same things which you get in Android 10 based custom rooms also. Talking about the notification drawer, this is very cool that you get the conversation options, you get the alerting notifications and also you get easily access your most used apps, these kind of things like that. There are a lot of things available and talking about other things, this type of quick setting tiles you get here where you get this Android 11 Beta 1. This one is not Beta 1.5, this one is Beta 1 which is quite stable for Redmi Note 8 and I'm using from some time, no lags at all. And one of the best thing about this build is the battery backup is not bad. Yes, I'm saying that battery backup is not bad. I'm not saying the battery backup is just awesome or whatever, but still it's good because the previous time when I installed the GSI, the battery was draining like hell, but this time battery backup is pretty much stable. Or also you can use other kernels like you have inception kernels so that it could increase your battery backup a lot. Talking about one main feature which I personally noticed and which I personally liked about this one, this icon. If you have noticed these four icons are different and this one is little bit of different. What is this icon is? This one is actually the pin option as you can see this is pin. So we have just launched the settings. So if we launch now files, so let me just show you. You will see this this time it's file there when you click here you can see the option of pin prediction if i pin this so now whenever i open any app from here the app will not change if i unpin from here as i already pinned it so i cannot unpin it right now there are a lot of settings options are available here talking about the app drawer for redmi noted users the super user is pre-installed so which means you can use apps which need root so you don't need to worry about anything unfortunately magisk is not compatible with android 11 yet so we cannot use magisk till now if you're using other device rather than redmi note 8 as this room is ported for redmi note 8 so this room is only can be used on redmi note 8 which is king go but if you're using other device i'll drop the link for the gsi also so that you can use the gsi if you want to Moving on to some other things, as you already know about Android 11 features, network and internet connected devices, apps and notifications, everything is just same like previous things. And battery got the battery percentage option and almost same. In display, when you go to dark theme, here in schedule you have three options, turn on from sunset to sunshine and turns on at a custom time. This one is a new thing, turns on at a custom time which you get only in Android 11. All other things are same, here you get the styles and wallpaper option where you get 4 styles pre-installed and you can use any style from here and you will not see, you will not face any issues here, just apply any wallpaper. So you can apply all the themes, themes are just working perfectly fine here. In display you have all other things, the same like font size, display size and these kind of things. 
sound storage privacy location everything is fine and security you have the pixel imprint option so if you need fingerprint you can choose fingerprint also in my case it's perfectly fine here for redmi note 80 users for other devices i am not sure about that and all other things are just same one thing let me just tell you that developer options are not working it's not working for gsi it's not working for my port room so whenever you open developer options you will see force clues that will not work for you so it's better not to use developer options everything is just fine and everything i have already shown you that it is a gsi port so which means there might be some other bugs too so you have to check it out if you want to no camera pre-installed i have tried to install open camera from play store that was working fine so i think that gcam will also work for you so which means no camera bug here if you talk about the volti and these kind of things i am not sure about that you should try it out on your own so these are all the things which i just want to share with you this is my work so if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel this is all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day